Hey everybody, welcome to another fly tying series with Old Guy Outdoors. I'm Edward Makey and today we're going to tie one of my all-time favorites to tie, I think, is the Royal Coachman. This is a great fly, dry fly, and uh, you'll see later on we'll tie it in the wet series too, so. Um, but this is the Royal Coachman dry fly. Right, today we're going to start off with a size 12 dry fly hook and some 140 near black thread. We'll take it about halfway back and then stop it oh, about a quarter way on the shank there and about where we're going to want to put our wings, which is right here. We'll take them back just a little bit. And then the wing, I'd like it about the length of a shank. So, uh, yeah, about like that. And we'll put one on and then we'll put another one on the other side. Yeah, hopefully there's a bend in the uh, duck feather. Uh, so take that bend to the outside of the hook. Yeah, just two little pieces of white duck feather. Yep. There we go. Yep, balancing them right. And then we'll do some several wraps to fix them in tight. Yep. And then we'll trim off the waist. Yep, just like that. There we go. Do a few more wraps up to bind it all down. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to try to stand them up a little bit better. Uh, do a few careful wraps right behind. Yeah, sometimes this is the tricky part. It is for me because my dexterity of my fingers aren't that great, so um, I have to be a little careful when I do this stuff but uh, speed really isn't in, in my forte anyway I I like to do them the first time and not have to redo them but I like that when I zigged when I should have zagged there okay let's see if we can build them back up again oh just grasp them with our fingers and then pull them up and then just do some tighter wraps right behind them. There you go. See, just like that. Perfect. Yeah, now if you get a, a, a few wild strands that come out, don't uh, don't worry about it. I mean, uh, I've caught fish with wild strands, but normally I just trim them off. Um, like this one, I've got a couple of wild ones there, so I'm just going to... Trim that one off, and trim that one off. I can get it. There we go. There we go. I'd like them standing up just a little bit more, but I think I'm going to continue with the, the wrap. We'll go back just to about the curve of the hook. Then we're going to take some just uh, golden pheasant. And we'll take oh, a half a dozen strands of that. And we'll place that for the tail. Again, about the length of a shank of the hook. Yeah, there we go. Then we'll just place those right on the top of the hook there and put a loose wrap, get them right on top of the hook, and then do several. Tight wraps, yep. And then we'll trim off the waist. Oops, there we go. Oh, missed one. Got it. Okay. Then do several cover wraps. There we go. 
Perfect. And end right back at the tail. Now we're going to take two peacock curls and fix them on there like that. Yeah, watch out for the hook. There we go. Yep. And then stop just well, midway up. Then we're going to do several tight wraps. As many, try to build it up pretty bulky. Um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to do some wraps over the peacock curls. Oh, I lost one there. There we go. There we go. Yep, perfect. And we'll trim off the waist of that. Now we'll move our, our uh, black thread up forward. Uh, and while we're going up there, I'm going to try to do a couple more wraps behind the feathers here. See if I can't stand them up just a little bit more. It makes it easier to do the rest of these wraps if I can get them facing forward just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, now we'll do some red thread behind it. Just start the 240 red thread. Uh, well, I think it'll be easier if I take my black thread and move it to the eye. There we go, like that. Yeah. And then we'll do some wraps of that red thread to secure it. There we go. Now, a lot of people just use loose floss and and uh, wrap it around, but I, I use it on the bobbin. It doesn't take that much more time, and it's a lot simpler in the long run. Now, we'll trim off the tag. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Then uh, do a few more wraps. Build a nice little abdomen there that red come and get me flash that you need on this fly then i'm going to bring my black thread back and wrap over the red and affix it in place there we go just like that one more beautiful now trim off the red. Perfect. Now we're going to take two more peacock curls and do the front part of the abdomen. Just like that. Fix them in. I'm going to go one time between the f wings here. See if I can get it, spread them out just a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Couple wraps in front. Now I'm going to take that peacock curl and make a nice little uh, front part of the abdomen there. Nice big thick wraps. There we go. Yeah, pull the feathers back a little bit. We're going to take our black thread and we're going to wrap over top. There we go, just like that. And that affixes the uh, peacock curl in place. There we go, just kind of untangle it there. Then we can trim it off. Yep. Perfect. Do a few more wraps in front to lock that down. Great. 
Now we're going to take some uh, like light brown hackle and uh, just to fix that right in front of the wings. Bring our thread right behind the eye of the hook. And then we'll just do some nice little wraps. There we go, right in front of the wings. Perfect. There we do. Go a couple of wraps over top to fix it in place. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my half hitch tool and push back against the eye and uh, so I don't trap a whole lot of hackle in my uh, my half hitches. When I whip finish, this will all be pushed back a little bit. So let's do a few more wraps over that. There we go. Just like that. Slides right off the end. Perfect. There we go. Now I'll take my whip finish tool and do three or four whip finishes over it. Yeah. And then I'll do another one after I finish that one. Yeah. Two or three more whip finishes. Yeah. There we go. And maybe one more for just good measure. Perfect. There we go. And trim that off. All right, and there you go. We'll do a little bit of trim in there. And that's the Royal Coachman Dry Fly. All ready to go. Take it to the river. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Thanks for joining us for the fly tying on the Royal Coachman. Uh, we sure appreciate all your support. Uh, please like and share our videos. Hit that little subscribe button, that bell notification, and join us every Monday for our fly tying videos. Till next time, remember, life's a gift. Get outdoors. See you now. Bye.